Hello my boots, Playcat, and this is episode one of my new series, Creating the Custom Map, where I'm creating a custom map from scratch. Uh, well, this isn't really from scratch. I'm creating a custom map, a survival slash adventure custom map, and I'm um, bringing you guys along for the journey, because you really enjoyed me making my Hungims map, which I'm going to put out for download very shortly, don't worry, I'll link down in the description as always. Um... But yeah, a lot of you guys like the Hunger Game series, like, a lot, and I figured let's, uh, do, a, like, a spiritual successor, and, uh, let's just do, you know, a, uh, you know, a, 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 I wanted to make a custom map anyway, because, uh, I downloaded a lot of custom maps after I bought a memory stick specifically so I could play them, because I wanted to do some videos, but they're all really bad, so I figured let's make, you know, good, or let's, let's try to make the best one I can, and, uh, hope it's a very good one that people like, and, uh, hopefully make the best map out there, so uh, that's what this series is going to be, um, I did a part zero where I covered how I got the uh, map to be covered in lava because um, basically I had to flatten the entire world uh, down to bedrock and then cover it in lava, which I didn't really have to do, but I think it adds it definitely adds to the uh, atmosphere of the map and it's it's definitely a move I don't really regret. Um, and thank you to all the subscribers who helped me uh, do that. It was uh, it's incredibly appreciated. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm doing now is uh, this is the general shape of the island. You can see it's got I've done the vague outline. Um, Basically, uh, this this box here, by the way, if you're wanting, is the spawn point, and I'll also use it as uh, a point of reference to have like oh, I'll have like a diamond block in there if you want to, you know, as a reward for breaking through the obsidian or whatever. Um, so I figured that'd be a fun, just pointless thing, but I guess you all know now. But um, yeah, just a, a slight warning: this might have a like not really spoilers, but it might give you a little bit of information you might not have otherwise had. Uh, so if that's a bad thing to you, and you want to experience the map firsthand, just I'll try. I'll try and turn it down, but just a warning if that applies to you. Um, but yeah, uh, basically this map. Uh, what? Yeah, this is. It's going to be an island uh, that you start on, and uh, you you know you just have the instructions. Do anything you like. Uh, it'll be sort of like a ruined island, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's just going to be raw dirt, no grass, and then you'll start with one grass block, and then as you go through, you know, dungeons, actually you might not even start with one grass block, you might have to get the one first grass block from a dungeon of some form, um, then you slowly pick it up, uh, you get like, uh, as you go through dungeons, you get more plants, and you get like, water and stuff, so you can make it look really nice, you get saplings, and you just get, it, it just, it'll, it'll grow into a really nice island that you, you know, make your own, you can do whatever you like with it, you can make buildings on it, you can make structures, you can make really nice things, uh, it's completely up to you what you do, you can just demolish the island to make a really flat plain, um, as, as I said, just entirely up to you uh, what you want to do with it, and uh, I think that's just a you know a really good idea to start with. That's what makes it survival. You can do anything you want, and then to make it like adventure because I think adventure is also a very good genre of maps. Uh, you know, survival and adventure are both like good enough ideas, and I think if I combine them. Um, so the adventure aspect comes in that you can, you know, go through dungeons and stuff and uh, parkour. Uh, I'm not going to have too much parkour because it's... Uh, I, I, have, I have opinions on parkour, but I'll have some parkour dungeons in there and stuff like that. Uh, then dungeons that are like puzzle dungeons and uh, hopefully just have a, uh, a good old time. Um, and, you know, get then when you do those you get stuff which helps you make the island better. Um, and yeah, that's that's the general concept. Also, if you want to see the sort of... Uh, also, I will give this map to you at the start. And as you can see, the island shape... Uh, it's pretty oddly shaped and it's pretty low-centered. But uh, I figured that's good enough. Because um, I was going to make the island bigger at first. Because I was like, this is slightly too small. Because like, at first, I was looking at this and I was like... I did like 30 blocks this way, 30 blocks this way. About 100-something blocks that way and about 50 this way. And I figured that would add up to enough. But at, from the top, it looks slightly small. But I, I quite like that because it means you can like actually personalize the whole island rather than just having too much space. Uh, which I think is a good enough... Which is, you know, a really good concept in my opinion. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work to be done before... Because at the moment, you've just seen the very vague outlines that I'm just filling in to help, you know, make me do stuff on top of it. Um, but yeah, lots of work to be done, but it's, it's, it's hopefully going to be a good map. So yeah, creative creative series of Toy Cat number two, making the custom game, uh, making the custom map. Uh, and I haven't got a name for it just yet, but it sh I should hopefully get a cool name by the time it's done. Um, so yeah, and ho hopefully, hopefully it does well. Um, but yeah, you, um, if you fall off the map at any time, the obvious motivation not to is you'll fall into lava, which is obviously not good. Um, oh no, I'm dead. Um, but yeah, then you s the only reason it's lava and not just bedrock, because the full would kill you anyway, and it does kill you anyway, even if you have a, like, a fire resist potion and full armor. Um, it's just so your stuff burns when you die, uh, which I think is definitely a, a key component of... Uh, you know, because uh, I wanted to make it like the void in the regular Minecraft, but you can't break bedrock in this, so... Uh, I basically just had to cover it in lava, and it's a, it's a similar effect. It's quite a cool. It's co it's a cool enough effect, I think. Um, 
But yeah, this is, uh, so what I'm doing now, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, what I'm gonna be doing in this first episode, is, uh, over here I'm gonna have what is essentially a volcano at first that's just really ugly, sort of ruins the landscape, um, and if you want, you can make it so it's, you know, you can neutralize lava and take the lava with you or whatever, or you can, uh, decide to just, um, you know, leave it and have a lovely volcano on your island, or make it look really nice, uh, but it's just gonna be a really ugly looking volcano, cause, uh, you know, I, I really want to see what people can do with this map, and if uh, if you start off looking as bad as possible, like, but still having potential, because there's a difference between looking bad and having potential and looking bad, and just being like, uh, like if I if I just did like a, I, I can't think of an example. So if it was just obsidian island. There's not really too much you can work with. But if it's dirt, you can turn it into grass if you get the uh, necessary grass blocks. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the uh, the idea I'm going for here. Um, and uh, the three things I'm actually going to have on the island at first, like the rest you'll have to make yourself, like if you want to make a forest, you can make a forest, uh, etc. Uh, the three things I'm going to have on the island are um, a frozen lake, which you'll obviously have, you can choose to, well it's not really choosing, but you can, uh, you know, unfreeze it by breaking it or whatever. Um, and then also going to have a, uh, uh, what else am I going to have? Uh, uh, yeah, this, uh, the big mountain that's spewing out lava that you can do whatever with to fix. Um, and then we're also going to have the, um, also it, found, it looks like I found the lag layer of the map. Um, then I'm also going to have like a cave system, so that if you want to just go straight to dungeons rather than having to go look for them. Um, like, I, as now described, like a sort of like a just, you know, like a cave you can see that you go into and it sort of leads you to your first dungeon. Um, which, I, that's that's the idea I'm going for here, so, pow, that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, there, there is literally as much, I, I'm trying to make it so you can do as much as you like, but there's still direction if you want it, like, um, also if you see it lag, it is honestly just the game, because, uh, um, if you're not aware in, this is, uh, this applies to survival as well, I used to have an issue in survival with it, uh, but some layers of the map are just, uh, like, essentially laggy, uh, it's, 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 whatever, um, I'm not sure if it's ever with the Xbox version or in general, because I don't really play enough. PC, like I play quite a bit of PC, but uh, for the most part I play mods and custom maps and stuff, so this doesn't really affect me. Um, so yeah, also if you wonder why I don't just make this on PC, where I could just use MC Edit and make it a lot easier, uh, for instance, because uh, quite a lot of people do seem to suggest that, uh, PC and Xbox custom maps are actually completely different files. That's why all the Xbox custom maps suck, because it's sort of hard to download them, like it's a little difficult. Um, Whereas PC, it's really easy to download and to, you know, upload uh, custom apps. So that's why a lot of people do it. So uh, anyway, let's let's start working the mountain. So I'm going to have it like stone on the inside and then dirt covered. So it sort of looks like a mountain that's just covered in lava that you could make look nice if you wanted to. Uh, so let's go. So first of all, we're going to make it so it doesn't collide with any of the, with the, edge, of any of the edges. Um, also, I should go for it. Should I go for circular or like sort of like... Because uh, if you're wondering this island, if you're wondering how you... This is just a pro tip for creative in general. Because uh, uh, when you do square things, it looks slightly less natural and not good uh, for the island. Uh, just make the edges really jaggedy and it sort of makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, as long as it's just me going around a random shape. But I looked at the map and saw the island. And I was like, that's actually a pretty cool shape for an island. You can see uh, the lava is slightly funny coloured when you put uh, dirt down. But yeah, that's what the island sort of looks like. I think I think that's a pretty cool sh like shape for an island. Like I think that's an island shape. So. I I just decided to go with it, so just, yeah, just a uh, pro tip toy cat, uh, make things jaggedy because it makes it look more realistic. So uh, let's just do one more layer so I can try and get the maximum out of this. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing here is uh, just, uh, ooh, I, I missed two blocks there. Um, actually, I'm not going to finish this layer. So uh, first, okay, let's just, let's just start and make it the general shape of the land around it and hope that doesn't go too bad. Um, so just go two blocks in from every... Oh, that's three blocks. Uh, two blocks in from every little, um, you know, edge thing. Uh, should I go for a circle shape, actually? Because circles are actually quite easy to replicate in Minecraft, uh, contrary to popular belief. Um, I think I might go for a circle shape, except this would cause it to go off the edge. You know, it doesn't really matter too much if it goes off the edge. Uh, I'll just try and avoid that where I can. Um, so go one, two... You know, that will literally go off the edge, so we're going to have to try and avoid that then. Um, you know, let's just start further back then. <laughs> okay, so it's not over, let's say, here. Um, you know, let's, let's start from the side you can see, because that's the most important side. Um, so let's start just right here and just go, hope for the best, really. That's that's my plan here. Um, also, I'll just quickly patch that in. Uh, oh, wow, that was laggy. That took ages. Um, 
So go like two, three, and then go one, two, three, and then go one, two, three, and then stop going one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two, and then you can start going diagonalish, and then do the opposite in this direction, except less. Okay, yeah, and then one, two, and then one, two, three, and this is not going the same direction. I'm going to need to curve it inwards a little when it will just look like a funny mountain, but that's, that's all right, because... People overestimate having curved shapes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll just we'll just you know make it the shape of whatever and just hope for the best. Because um, as I said, like natural shapes do actually like because since this is just meant to look like a natural island, uh, having a natural shape is uh, quite interesting. A uh, prospect. Uh, will this even link back to the? I'm not sure it will. Um, <laughs> yeah, this looks like the sort of shape we're going for here. Um, uh, also, I've got some same thing on busy, but I'm not going to, because uh, I'm sure some people really like the Xbox Live notifications. They prove I'm playing Xbox. Not that anyone's ever accused me of doing anything otherwise, but you know, just in case you want to, then bam, there you go. Um, also, I'll start curving it inwards after this little thing. Uh, go four, and then go three, and then go three, and then go two. And uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to start curving quite soon. So let's just go two, go one, go two this way. Go free this way, and then just go, <laughs> and then we're just gonna have to sort of make it look natural. Uh, so this is the general shape of the mountain. Um, gonna quickly check if it would look alright in my mind. That is, uh, so I'll just quickly do this little row here. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah. There's, there's some, uh, as I said, some layers of math just laggy. If you're wondering what that is. Um, so yeah, this is this is the volcano sort of idea. Uh, yeah, I could see that working, since it does need to have a hole in the middle where there's going to be lava just spewing out everywhere. Um, also, it's, it's, I'm building it from stone, but it will be covered in dirt, so uh, just in case you're wondering there. Um, also, what did I just hear? Oh, never mind. Um, so now what we've got to do is we've got to do just uh, go over it, but in, uh, you know, double as high. Um, like this, and it'll still make a volcano shape. Um, I'll like sort of even it, roughen it up a bit so that it looks less, uh, you know, so it looks less just uh, fake and built and stuff, if you know what I mean. Because uh, if it's just perfectly, you know, sterical, then it doesn't look proper. But if you have just random bits that aren't stairs, random bits that are, uh, it makes it both climbable and still look realistic. So, uh, bam, more pro tips of Toy Cat. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, where we're going with this, uh, the direction of this. Um, so, uh, first, also, uh, if you fall off the map, you will lose all your stuff. That is, I, I think I've said that, but that's the... It makes it a little bit more tense being on this island. Uh, knowing that you can't get off, and knowing that even if you did, there's absolutely no point to it. Um, but yeah, is, let me just quickly give this another look to see if it's going okay. Um, I guess, what since it's not perfect, well, it's obviously never, never going to be a perfect circle. Some bits are going to be steeper than others, which is actually a fact I quite like, so... I'll just uh, roll with that. Um, you know, we'll just hope for the best by doing this everywhere, and then, yeah, we'll just we'll just see how that where that takes us. And uh, also, I'm really going to turn my thing on busy because of how much uh, stuff is happening. Um, yeah, the, re the reason I turn that off, by the way, some people wonder why I go to busy when I record. It turns off notifications, um, and I know how annoying those sounds are when you're just trying to listen to the game or or listen listen to that guy talking about the game or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As no, I just turn them off myself because they're annoying. Um, just, just personal preference there. Just personal preference. Um, but yeah, back, back to a, uh, back to the mountain thing. Uh, I, t I don't think this will go too badly, so that's, that's all good. Um, and uh, if you're wondering, I do do stuff of, uh, between uh, episodes, uh, just, just in case that is good. So I would like to just have everything done, but then it'd be like a 50-hour series because I've put about 25 hours in myself so far. As well as like you know three or four subscribers having a similar amount, uh, or you know about half as much, so it's a, l a lot of time to just put into a, <laughs> a custom map. But hopefully it will pay off in the uh, in the long run. Um, so let's start with the third layer, and I'll I'll make the uh, the realistic part in dirt. This is just going to be the sterical part. Uh, sterical is that word? Um, since you won't see this part unless you get rid of the dirt, uh, it doesn't really matter if it doesn't look proper. Um, so yeah, also it'll get easier every time I make a layer because you're going inwards and therefore less blocks are needed. So bam, uh, toy cat knowledge. Uh, actually, would it? Yeah, it would. It would. Wait, that's. It looks like I'm doing the same number of blocks as the previous layer. I wait, wait. 
Yeah, I must be doing less. I don't know where I'm doing less, but I must be doing less some... I guess I could just come there. You know, I'll just put a block there. Um, you know, I'll actually just put a block there and then go across. Bam! Yeah, that, that that's alright. Um, yeah, uh, so at the top of this volcano, there's going to be lava spewing out, and if you want, you can... Well, if you can get to the top of it, because it will be covered in lava, so it'll take... Not really skill, but you'll have to do something to get to the top, rather than just walk up there. Uh, you could then take the lava in a bucket. I think I'll provide a bucket at this spawn, a bucket, a map, uh, and a, a sapling, and a bone, I think is uh, what I'm going to use my chest. Um, we'll do the same thing here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna. Ha that's what my opening chest is going to be, because uh, then that's all. Sort of also, do I do that? Or oh, whatever. Um, but then that uh, that allows you if you're wanting away the bone. Uh, the bone turns into bone meal, so you can make a tr you know a tree with it. Uh, then you've got about 15 wood for your first night before you have to start you know actually growing trees the regular way. Uh, maybe some regular seeds. Uh, is that is that too much? Actually, if you want the regular seeds, you can just do bone meal on the dirt. Actually, can you? No, you have to use it on grass, don't you? Uh, so once you get your first block of grass, you can bone meal the grass to get some wheat if you want that sort of thing. Um, actually, I might have to provide some food in the first chest because. Uh, Obviously, without grass, there's no uh, mobs to spawn. Uh, if you want to, there is actually zero mobs on this world. The world isn't extinct of mobs. Someone asked me if you could do that, and uh, you can. So, fun, fun fact to look at. But yeah, let's start on the fourth layer. This might take a little bit of time, but it's uh, it's it's definitely going to pay off in the long run because uh, you you just go along and it'll be like, yay, it's done. Um, yeah, I think in the first chest I will provide like some cooked chicken because uh, cooked chicken is just a Minecraft food. I, I don't know why, but like they they like their cooked chicken, uh, and that really sounds like a racist joke, but it's not. It's just a uh, you know talk uh, like in the uh, in PC um, they have like a similar thing to leaderboards, but it's not a leaderboard. It's just a counter where they basically just uh, they tell you how much be each item you you know. Uh, eaten or used or consumed so for a diamond pickaxe it'd be number of times used uh for like i don't know for like stone it'd be number of times mined and um, one of those is just chicken just randomly in the leaderboard of all the serious stuff and uh, that leads me to believe that notch loves fried chicken um i guess cooked chicken i guess frying is cooking therefore fried chicken is cooked chicken am, am i right am i right i think i'm right uh but let's let's get back to this i, I like to work in the daytime makes everything look nicer um be yeah, about uh, back back to the thing um so yeah, um, words and stuff. Uh, I, I I really like working the day because it's. I'm just gonna quickly explain that one because uh, honestly, I just, you can see at night perfectly if you turn up your gamma. But I, you honestly, you you might not appreciate this as just a viewer. But, um, since I like fiddle about quality like way too much, because uh, I try to get the best quality I can uh, where possible anyway. Um, like uh, you, I've noticed that when you turn up the gamma, that really messes with the quality. Uh, so I just turn it down since uh, I'd, I'd rather have a better quality game than slightly easy one. Um, I used to be the exact opposite, like uh, turn up my brightness and everything just because you can see more. Uh, but I've, I've 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 changed since then. You see, uh, I don't know why I said like I like I have a stutter or something. Um, looks like we're going on to the next layer now. Actually, is this the whole layer done? I think it is. Um, yeah, let's head on to the next layer. Uh, so similar sort of deal here. Um, as you see how this is getting smaller now, because bits like that just get skipped over. Um, quite interesting, really. Uh, and this is taking actually quite a while, but it's it's gonna it should hopefully pay off and look pretty cool. Uh, as I said, uh, if you're wondering why I'm just doing it in stairs and not doing the blocks, I am gonna add those later in the dirt. Uh, this is just the general shape of it. Um, because you could just mine this if you wanted to, but I, just, I don't know. I, th I think it feels more authentic if it's. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Stone underneath the dirt, so that's why I'm going for that. Um, also, should I do this or do that? And like, just fill that in there. I think I'll do that, and then yeah, I, I like that. Um, I like how it's actually making itself look slightly authentic. When I, I don't know why I'm using authentic. That that really sounds like a food word, like authentic Italian cuisine. Uh, also, just cuisine just mean food. Uh, fun fun words of toy cat, but. Um, <laughs> Speaking of food, Toy Cat, sir, uh, what did I eat today? I I ate some noodles. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, uh, not nothing interesting. Interesting today, not some you know goddamn chicken tikka lasagna because India and it Italy are apparently the same country according to whoever made that. Um, God damn it. Um, but yeah, I ate just uh, just regular old noodles, which I think are actually Japanese, or is that just ramen noodles? Uh, who made the noodle? That's the that's the question on everyone's mind right now. I'm sure. Um, Probably was Chinese people come to think of it. 
probably was. Also, I could have like something secret in here, like a chest down here, but it's filled with lava, so you'd have to take out all the lava to get to the chest. Uh, that's a that's a fun idea. Um, yeah, back to back to the whole thing. Um, yeah, vol volcano. It's it, this is a lot of effort to build, but hopefully it pays off. As because you know, lots lots and lots of efforts going into this whole uh, system of building. Um, but hopefully we've only got a few more layers left. Uh, I, I was hoping to have it quite tall, but this is actually going quite tall, so that's all good. Uh, the only thing I'm not liking is over, over here, like, it doesn't really look... Yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, if, if there's one thing to be learned from this, you want to be like, Wow, Toy Cat, your volcano looks either bad or good. Uh, it's because I'm just using randomly shaped things, because, uh, funnily enough, in, in like, if you want to replicate things in nature, you can't use squares, which is like, quite ironic that you try to do it in Minecraft, which is entirely square-based. Um, I think I think that's something I learned in art at some point. Um, nothing in nature is uh, square-based or whatever, because, uh, I don't know, uh, your favourite deity of choice who created the earth just doesn't like squares, I guess. Um, sorry, sorry to break the news to you, but it's, uh, it's true. Um, also, also I, I never understood why people like the creative series like so much. Like, I, like I, I like making it. I really enjoy making the creative maps, but I never would have thought it's the most interesting thing to watch. But you know, I, I guess I was uh, mistaken. Um, we're about halfway to the top now, but the last layers get easier, obviously, because you do slightly less for each layer because it's getting smaller, so the outline gets smaller, and uh, that makes it easier to place blocks. And I'm just getting reckless because I'm trying to speed up here. Uh, let's see how fast we can do this if we try to. Um, okay, that's that's not a fun game to play because I keep just messing up. Uh, also, just place that block there. Um, but yeah, it's definitely getting a lot easier now than it was before. Uh, so let, let's talk about something like I don't know uh, torches. Um, fun, fun. Uh, by the way, this is something I really think they should do. Um, you can get mods that do this, but um, in AdventureCraft, as well as uh, obviously just standalone mods, uh, the torch actually lights up, and that's how it works in Terraria as well. I honestly don't know why it doesn't work like that in Minecraft. Like, uh, if I had the torch out, it'd be a light source in my hand. Um, I guess that would make it easier to explore caves, but why is that a bad thing? Like, uh, I don't know, just uh, just thinking aloud here as always. Um, in fact, that's what commentary is. Uh, gameplay commentary that is anyway just like yeah I'm a chalk aloud and hopefully guys listen um, and uh, I, I said this one before but if if I if, if this video like corrupts does that make me crazy because I've just been talking to myself for the last you know uh, X amount of minutes uh, just because I'm putting on the internet does that make me not crazy -da 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 -da, these are these are the questions you see um, looks like this uh, that little straight line there is still quite long and straight um, and I like how the curves are slowly disappearing, like it's getting easier and easier, and only the straight lines are remaining. Uh, that's that's quite a nice little thing. Um, except as I go along, actually, they're slowly disappearing and such. Uh, <sighs> um, but yeah, uh, also about uh, the lake, uh, if you're wondering, it will be frozen over, and I'm not sure whether I want to just have no blocks underneath, so it'll break if you're not careful. Because uh, that might just be unfair to people who don't understand how it works. Um, but on the other hand, it would be funny, so there. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a risk reward scenario. Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll decide that as I make the lake, which might be in another video. It might not be. Who knows? I'm just gonna keep on working on the map. Uh, if you're wondering between this and the next video, like while I wait for feedback on this one, because I, I do like to make my video decision based on feedback from like comments and stuff, um, and of, and obviously tweets. But um, I, I like to base my like you know what I'm gonna do next based on that. So. Uh, like, if you want to leave any ideas, do, and in between this episode and next, I'll be working on the island, like, getting it a bit more filled in. Because at the moment, as you can see, it is just, it is the outlinest of outlines. Like, it's not even really an outline, it's just a outline of the top with that sort of connection in the bottom. I don't know, it just looks sort of silly in my opinion. Um, ooh, is that is that too much? I think it is. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting very, very close to the top here, I think. Also, I didn't fill in there, apparently. Um, getting very close to the top. Uh, the layers are slowly getting easier and easier to do, uh, and it looks like, let's see how tall this is, um, 109, so it's going to be about 12 to 15, I'd say about 13 to 15, maybe 17 sort of blocks when it's done, uh, which isn't too bad, isn't too bad at all. Um, yeah, just just figured I'd throw that one out there, uh, I'll just fill this in there, um, should have done it when I was going around and filling it in. Um, 
but yeah, this this map is uh, something I'm going to be working on for quite some time. In case you're wondering, it yeah, probably going to not finish it till 2013 because I'm incredibly busy, busy uh, early 2013 and late 2012. I don't know why I keep saying years. But it makes it sound really like fancy when you say like, yeah, something's going to be out in uh, 2013 because uh, it's just it's just two big numbers, 20 and 13. Like 20 20 is a pretty big number. Like it's. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's so far into the two digits, it's like, oh, I'm two digits, I forgot, I thought I was three digits. Um, and yeah, I, I, I know that doesn't make any sense. And then 13's also a, a pretty strange number. Also, 13's an unlucky number, does that mean 2013 will unlucky? Duh, 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 duh. Um, probably not, because bad luck isn't actually a thing. But you, you can never be too certain these days. Um, rise of uh, socio-communism, com socio-communism and such. Um, also, I think this will be the last layer I do, and then I'll just poke the hole in it to make the uh, the volcano -y bit. Actually, this this is the volcano -y bit where it will just sort of pour over. Uh, so now what I've got to do, uh, cover in dirt. This is let's give it a quick look, see if anything needs changing. Uh, ooh, that looks a little bit. Yeah, I'll use the dirt to make it look slightly less thing. Because if you look, it sort of looks like a pyramid to there, to there, and then to there, uh, which isn't entirely what I was going for. Uh, over here, it doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll add random blocks in there, and it should hopefully fix that uh, sort of effect. How it looks like it bends out towards there. Uh, we'll, we'll see, won't we? Um, so first of all, I don't want, I don't want any stones to be visible. Uh, you won't be able to see it anyway because lava. But I want it to be once you get rid of the lava, just sort of dirt, and then stone underneath the dirt. Just uh, just for more fun and giggles. Uh, I honestly don't know the reason. I guess it makes scientific sense, but that's not really. Top of my priority list. Uh, ooh. Okay, this would just be slightly higher than the rest, I guess. Um, if you want to be better than all the rest, then uh, if you want to be a master of Pokemon. I'm, just, I'm not going to sing Pokemon thing magic, but uh, Orange Island's Pokemon that is one of the uh, one of the better things ever. Um, I'm talking about the TV series, by the way, because uh, I, I never understood how that was so unrelated to the uh, games. Like it sort of took the same thing. But they went to the 6th gym 5th and the 5th gym 6th, and I know you can choose which order they are, they're in, but it clearly says in the badge list that the 5th one is the 5th one and the 6th one the 6th one. And I, I just felt lied to when they did that to me, and uh, I'm sorry if anyone doesn't, what, hasn't watched the Pokemon anime, which I guess would probably be quite a lot of people. Also, animes. I, I, I don't watch animes because they're animes. I, I watched a lot as a children, because uh, over here all they really had on children's TV was just animes that had English... Uh, I guess it's called a dub um, on it, which is uh, quite unique when you think about it. Um, but yeah, uh, fun facts of Toy Cat episode 22. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so now I just... I'm trying to work out how I can make it... Because if you can look at this, you can see how it sort of looks like there's a summit here. And then one here, and then one here, and then one up here. Which isn't really an effect I was going for. Also, I'm going to fill this with lava. Uh, also, let me just put some torches down for now. Just so I can see, yeah. I'm, I'm going to fill this for the most part of lava, I think. Maybe have a glass area with a chest in it, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, as as we do it, of course. Um, in fact, you know, if I had more of these little summits around here, then I think that would fix the issue. So if I, like... Uh, okay, just, 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 let's just focus on putting the dirt around it. Um, so, yeah, making a volcano of Toy Cat. This is... Uh, the main part of this episode, but I think the volcano needs to be a, a key part of it, because you can just ignore it if you want, but this is going to be the first sort of big interesting thing you see, and it's the way to get lava, which is, you might think, wait a minute, isn't there a lot of lava? You can't actually get that lava. Um, and lava's used for cobblestone generators, it's used, you could use it for, you know, heating your furnace to make yourself some charcoal or whatever if you wanted to. Uh, this there's, there's quite a lot of options. Um, you can you can be very creative with it. Oh, get it creative uh, if you want it to be. Um, the the possibilities are quite literally endless. Um, and I honestly actually seriously don't see how I'm getting because that's two, that's two, that's two, that's one, two. Okay, I see how it gets less then. Never mind. Um, do you figure I'd be placing the same number of blocks? Because I don't know, it just doesn't doesn't make too much sense to me. Um, but then again, what does in uh, today's modern society? Uh, so I actually might just work on one face first, uh, since I've got the general idea done here. Um, gonna work entirely. I just pulled up my hand to make a hand motion. Gonna do this entire first side here. Also gonna make it daytime because uh, nighttime is sad face. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to do this entire side first, so then I can use my knowledge based on the uh, what happens here and apply that to uh, what happens over there. Um, so as soon as it sort of looks like this is, you know, sort of like it sort of looks like free. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I guess covered in lava, that would be pretty good. I think it needs to be a tiny bit steeper near the top, uh, or steeper near the bottom. So I'll. If I make this steeper, uh, no, I need to make it like steep and then shallow here. Uh, so if we just made this new no, way, okay. So what we're gonna do here is go up two blocks. Yeah, go up two blocks and then. Oh, not not that many in a row. Uh, go up two blocks there. Uh, not gonna do a similar thing. Actually, I could just do a sort of similar thing here. Um, or I could do the sort of thing where I just uh, had a whole, uh, had a flat layer there, and then have a flat layer over, over here. Is that a flat layer? I don't think that counts as flat. Um, just have random bits where it's steeper than it should be, uh, such as there. It's two blocks. Um, and then hopefully, I'm gonna hope. That this this sort of uh, evens it out and makes it look like there's lots of tiny little summits. Uh, also, I'm gonna use summit to. I know summit is actually the top. I'm gonna use summit to mean these tiny little flatland things because uh, they will sort of make it look pyramidy. Uh, and I don't really want it to be pyramidy, so I want to try and make those sort of evenly spread. I I don't know. Um, sure, that's that's just what I'm going for here. Um, also, I like how it still breathes life into it when you put dirt on it. It sort of looks like it's grey and then you're putting dirt on it. And if you put grass in it, it'd be a lovely, like, hilly volcano thing. Uh, we just make it into a lovely hill. Uh, up to you, really. Um, but yeah, if I... Ooh, okay, so now there's going to be another one of these things here because obviously there's just one naturally of the stone. Uh, let's quickly look at it from afar. Uh, yeah, I think this probably needs to be a bit wider, but other than that, and then get rid of that. Yeah, I... I see that working. Um, obviously, going to be one here. So, bam, bam. That's quite a big one, actually. Uh, and then one over here, uh, which is obviously also considerably large. Um, and then hopefully that should help help to offset. Uh, we'll, we'll just try and fill in the dirt to the top and see if that fixes any of the issues that I just said I had. Um, also, I'll add the random blocks later to make it slightly less climbable and uh, better looking. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to you know, fill in the grey, make it look brown and add colour to it. Because it's, it's sort of colourless right now, if I'm going to be a billion percent honest with you. Um, sort of, you know, it's just uh, not, not the most colourful thing. I mean, I, I grey just sort of looks like uh, needs colour, uh, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. I also might have diamond in the cave in the thing as well. Uh, so many options, so many options. Uh, I guess you could just use uh, water if you wanted to get the entire thing done. Also, I guess this is where I'm stopping. Uh, so go along here. Pow, 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 <laughs> Yeah, I'll stop that now. Don't worry. Um, but what I'll do here is I'll have that block and that block be slightly higher than the rest. Uh, and then... Actually, those are already higher, I think. Uh, but then, since I'll go to there, um, be another little square block here. Um, and then a similar thing up here. Also, this map was actually de designed mathematically, if you're wondering, because I've said before that I tend to, you know, try to use maps to make the buildings make sense, so that I don't mess up and with the height. And uh, the map, the island itself is from Y100 to Y50. Uh, above the island goes to about Y128, like this volcano goes to Y112, which is uh, 16 blocks off the height limit, which means there's a slight limit to what you can do building-wise, but could always just dig down if you wanted to, make the end a little lower. Uh, the the options are all yours. Um, not forcing you to do anything. Uh, just uh, just giving you the options, letting you know which ones are which. Uh, gonna fill this in. Gonna fill this in as well. And let's quickly look at it from afar after we finish this whole side, um, which we're almost done. If you cannot tell by the fact that there's all this stuff happening. Um, yeah, the, oh, the, another benefit of being stone on the outside is when you go on the inside, it looks like stone. It's quite a cool little effect. Um, I thought it was a cool effect anyway. Uh, well, I think it's a cool effect, not I thought, because I, I thought it, I think it in the present. No, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but let's see. Should we have it a little taller around the edges as well? Like that, maybe? Okay, let's... Is that good, actually? 
Uh, you know, we'll work it out later. Actually, we could have it so there's lava falling down, like... No, no, I won't have to pour it out everywhere. Um, okay, let's see, does that look volcano-y? Uh, oh, it looks like all the extra peak side have made it look less volcano-y. Um, yeah, it's definitely still heavy on the left, like, uh, you know what, let's, let's quickly look from over here. Uh, I think with that cover, pouring covered in lava, I don't think it'd look too bad. Um, at least it doesn't look like it's just a man-made lump of dirt. It just looks like not entirely volcano-ish. Uh, which I guess is negative, but we'll, we'll see what happens as we go along it. Um, in fact, let's let's try putting lava down here now, just to see uh, what it looks like covered in lava. Um, lava, bam. Uh, so what I'm going to do with the lava is just uh, so place a block there and there, and then place lava blocks on both of them. Um, then get rid of both blocks, and uh, wait for the magic to happen. Unless it just goes inside there, which is sort of... Not the point there. Uh, is there any way to make it flow in the direction you want? Uh, so we'll use dirt, 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 dirt. Oops, I just got rid of that one. Uh, okay, so now we've got a block of lava. We can get rid of all these extra dirt blocks. Uh, now it should hopefully, yeah, that. Okay, so it will only go onto the mountain that I want it to. Um, so yeah, when it's covered in a bit of lava, I think that looks a bit more natural because it looks like maybe it's been blown up by something, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I I quite like the look. It's going, it's good going there. Um, yeah, I, I I like the look. I like the look. Um, hmm. Ooh, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of that. Um, <laughs> I know it's it's spreading quite slowly now. It's going to take ages to get rid of it as well. Uh, but I'm just going to try and cover the bits of dirt that it might affect before it affects it. Uh, actually, it goes to the left as well. No, it didn't for some reason. I guess it's because I removed it before it came into effect. Um, yeah, this is what it's going to look like when it's done, just on all sides. Uh, yeah, like, the little bumps in it do make it look more realistic. I'll, I'll say that much now. Um, and plus, you, if you... Ooh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad lava. Bad lava. Um... I wonder if this will keep steep going down like a snake. <laughs> Look, it's just gonna, it's <laughs> That's quite enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my creating the custom map series. Uh, part 2, uh, let me know what you want part 2. And uh, if it's not out yet, then I'll obviously consider it and maybe do it. Because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet part 2. I've just got to work on the island and uh, finish the mountain for now. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, you can like it or share it. Let people know about it. Um... Both options are good, and both options let me know that you liked it and uh, encourage me to make more. So yeah, th thanks for watching the video. It's like been 37 minutes.